Hey, what's up guys? I hope that those of you that have iPhone 4s are enjoying your Open Snow iOS 7 Tether jailbreak because we're going to be using that today. I'm going to show you in this video how to run unsigned IPAs. Now for those of you that aren't familiar, you'll probably want to check my previous video uh, because for those with iPhone 4s, it is possible to get a Tether jailbreak using Open Snow for an iPhone 4 running iOS 7. So what I'm doing right now is um, pretty much a very similar procedure that I showed in the previous video. So if you haven't gotten root access on your iPhone 4 yet, you'll want to check out that video and go ahead and do that before continuing on. So as I said, I'm just putting my iPhone 4 into DFU mode, opening up Microsoft Guys SSH RAM disk tool, and then using CyberDoc to SSH into my iPhone. Now what you want to do is uh, send the mount.sh command and then navigate back to the root directory and open the mount1 folder. Within there you'll see a folder named applications. Now this is actually where your iPhone stores all of the system apps. So you want to make sure you can see that within the mount1 folder. Next we're going to download an IPA and for the purposes of this video I've got ingress.ipa here which is an iOS port of Google or Niantic's uh, app ingress. Now what you want to do is change the um, file ending from .ipa to .zip and then you want to extract the zip and on a Mac you just double click it to extract the zip and within the zip there will be a payload folder. If you open up that payload folder you'll find your .app file. Now what you want to do is drag that .app file from your computer over to your iOS device or your iPhone 4. And once that's done, you want to send the halt command to your iPhone so that it will turn off. And from there on, it is a matter of simply using OpenSnow to uh, tether boot your iPhone. Um, now once that's done, go ahead and uh, unlock your iPhone and check that the app is there. And if everything went correctly, it should be there and you should be able to run unsigned apps on your iPhone 4. So uh, that's it for this video. I hope those of you that followed with the previous Open Snow procedure are now able to run and run unsigned code execution on your iPhone. If this video helped you, please like it. Uh, you know, give it a thumbs up, hit that like button. It helps out the channel a lot. Uh, leave a comment if you have any thoughts regarding this video. And I guess that's it. I'll see you all in the next one.